Well, Greenland Industries is the next management uh, on our radar. Remember, they reported a rather good set of numbers. Uh, to understand what's the way ahead, uh, you know, posted margin expansion that we have seen, well, we're joined by Mr. Saurav, who joins us on the show. Hi, sir. Good morning. Thanks so much uh, for joining in, and always good speaking to you. Well, earlier on when you joined in, you had told us that, you know, you were looking at FY24 revenue guidance of around 20 to 25 percent. In the first half of the year, you've done close to around 13 percent. So give us uh, an analysis now. You know, at the halfway mark, how does the year shape up? Do you get to the 20, 25 percent? What do margins look like? And have exports come back? So I think we'll be more like the 20s plus minus 2 percent and not in the 25s. And uh, so I think second half in terms of revenue should be better than H1 uh, by that logic. And I think margins uh, also we should be able to maintain margins in the you know similar band we've done in H1 or rather slightly uh, get better than that. Yeah, so I think that's on the margin front. And what was Export? your last question? Export? Exports, have they come back? Exports, so uh, we've grown in exports in H1. Mm. Uh, by and large, we, uh, the data we have is that exports from India has actually dipped a bit, but I think we've ended up taking more market share. So I think exports will continue to do okay, I think. Yeah? But generally, obviously, in the market, in the global market, there are challenges, but with the infrastructure and uh, product range expansion, we think we should be able to do good in exports too. I remember the export realizations being a bit of a drag earlier. So now has that uh, moved towards normalization? What's the difference in realization between domestic and exports? So exports realization ha has been normal. We had a little bit of a challenge in Q1 where mm -hmm. we couldn't, uh, you know, ship all the goods because of the challenge of the Mundra port. And exports realization will be, you know, uh, about 15 percent, approximately higher than the domestic realization. That's largely because of the size of the product we ship. Because exports, you have larger size laminates, but domestic laminates is still largely four feet by eight feet. So that's the reason. But exports realizations are uh, quite normal for us, and uh, it's kind of uh, running fine. So that explains the margins that uh, the margin expansion that we've seen uh, in the laminates business itself, and that sustains, right? The second quarter margin sustain for the year, or the first half uh, margin sustain. So in laminates, uh, we think we should be able to maintain the Q2 margins. And uh, the, our Gujarat plant is also up and running at near 100% utilization. We started our fourth laminate plant at Andhra Pradesh, uh, which mm -hmm. commenced production on 29th of September. I think that will go through a slight stabilization phase. But by and large, we think we can sustain the margins of laminates. Okay, all right. Are you gaining market share in the domestic market? We haven't have, we don't have data of the competition numbers. So mm -hmm. can't say you know very clearly, but uh, our guess is with the product range expansion uh, and, and the and the uh, you know uh, feedback we have from on uh, on ground, I think we probably are gaining market share in the domestic market too, probably from the unorganized companies or the mid sized companies. That's a guess, but we don't have data of uh, what the competitions done in Q2 when the numbers do come out. I think it'll be more clearer. Mm -hmm. But uh, the feedback we have is that we are getting market share, you know, in the domestic so market too. So you've increased your Gujarat plant uh, capacity utilization. The Andhra Pradesh plant has started towards the end of the previous quarter. Then you have another plant which is uh, likely to come in the fourth quarter. That's the particle board plant. And uh, Tamil Nadu has already, uh, you know, uh, c uh, commenced production. So from a full utilization standpoint, when does that happen? In FY25, what does your revenue growth look like? So uh, full utilization would be more like an FY26 for... Uh, Particle board, so sorry, for laminates on the Pradesh, for plywood, for particle board, it may, may be more like a FY27. And next year, I think, too, depends on how we close the H2. We should be able to grow like 20, 25% next year, too. Okay. All right. What about debt? Could you tell us what is the peak debt likely to look like? Do you have any fundraising plans? Does the, will the company look at a potential QIP or some raise some money from the market? So we have no fundraising plans so on the debt uh, with the projects ongoing. I guess is uh, peak debt should be in the range of 800, 850 crores. And uh, so I think that, that's where we think the peak, peak debt should be, net peak debt, you know, should be towards the end of this financial year. All right, and final question before we let you go, just two data points. One, by when does the deco veneer business turn operating profit? And secondly, what is the working capital range that you're working with? Came down to 60 days in the second quarter. Right. So working capital, uh, you know, we've improved uh, by about, I think, 10, 12 days over the previous year, Q2, hmm. despite the fact that we had two new plants starting up 
Uh, one was the plywood factory at Tamil Nadu and the Andhra Pradesh laminate factory. So if you see like-to-like -like business, I think the improvement has been uh, even better, but uh, that's where we are. So we think uh, as we move ahead with the discipline we have on cash flow management, we should be gradually able to you know, keep improving number of days, maybe one quarter, it could slip here or there, but by and large, we think that should be absolutely under control. As far as the decorative vineyard allied category is concerned, in Q2, we grew about, I think, 20, 25% uh, versus Q2 of FI23, and we also grew versus Q1 of this uh, this financial year. Uh, operating margins uh, or losses uh, have been very, very marginal. I think it's about some 80, 90 lakhs. So I think we're very close to turning that profitable and our efforts uh, are absolutely on to build that part of the business and we, we think we'll keep improving that part of the business too. All right, Saurabh, thank you for joining in. Uh, always a pleasure speaking with you. Wish you good luck for the second half of this year and FI25 as you increase the utilization of your new plants. Uh, take a short break, come back, get you more of the markets and individual stocks. Stay tuned.